Spoilers ahead. Watch out, and take care. The movie begins with a woman named Rhea, arriving at a jewelry store to pick out a gift, paid for by her husband, Charlie Mascarenhas. Criminal mastermind Charlie and his accomplice Rhea are one of India's greatest pairs of thieves. Initially, Rhea does not find what he likes, and calls her husband to complain. Charlie talks to the store clerk, and he shows her the most expensive necklace they have. At that moment, a masked armed man enters through the window, and takes her hostage. The man puts the necklace in her pocket, and she pushes him away, after which, she presses the alarm button. The robber runs away, and clings to the building, so the police cannot find him. Later, we see Rhea meeting Charlie. It turns out that the masked man was indeed him, and they had staged the whole thing to steal the necklace. She suggests they go somewhere to celebrate, but he points out that they have to follow the rules, that is, they cannot see each other for six months after a robbery. Six months later, in Russia, Charlie's friend Raj is being chased by a black SUV. Suddenly, after the SUV gets in front, he changes lanes quickly, and the man crashes into a car. Raj picks up the phone, and calls his wife to tell her to give Charlie the package he had prepared for him. Later, a group of men, members of the Russian Mafia, get out of the SUV, and ask Raj about the plan, and kill him. After Raj's funeral, his wife, Shayla, gives Charlie a book with a disc containing important information. In addition, she doesn't seem to grieve for her husband's death, and tries to flirt with Charlie, but he rejects her. When he tries to watch the video, he discovers that his hacker friend, Nina has hacked his computer, as a joke. After he talks to Nina, she helps him unlock the computer. He discovers information from the video about the transfer of gold bars by train, from Russia to Romania, and Raj suggests he rob the train, but tells him he needs a team and their mentor and con man, Victor Braganza. Charlie visits Victor in prison, where the now old thief helps the cops investigate robbery cases. Charlie tells Victor about the plan to rob the train full of gold, but Victor is not convinced. Charlie also tells him he will need a trusted team, but Victor remains silent. Charlie leaves the prison, and meets Nina the hacker, who is Victor's daughter. He gives her the money Victor earned in prison, and she begins to tear up. Later, they go to celebrate his birthday, and in the evening, he discovers that his wife Rhea, who he hasn't seen in six months, has entered the house. Rhea gives him a rare painting she stole, and the two talk about the train robbery, and he reveals he gave the plan to Victor. Now he just has to wait for his decision. The next day, Victor pretends to have a stroke, and is taken to a hospital. There, the officers leave him in the operating room, and Charlie is revealed they're dressed as a surgeon. Victor reveals he has already formed the team and they are all here. The group includes an explosives expert, two professional robbers, including Charlie's wife, an illusionist, an expert makeup artist, and finally, a hacker named Spider. However, Victor states that he has not been able to find Spider, so they must do it. They locate him in India, and travel to his home. When Spider realizes he has been hacked, he tries to escape, but they finally manage to catch him, and Spider thinks he will be arrested, but Charlie reveals he can earn a billion dollars. That night, Charlie tells the group about the plan, and all its obstacles. The train cars will be filled with soldiers, and in case the alarm goes off, in less than three minutes, more reinforcements will arrive. However, he reveals each of them will receive $10 billion as loot, and Victor will receive four. The next day, the team flies to Russia, and finds the train that will transport the gold. The team begins work, a team member, mechanic changes the train's engine, to make it run at a speed below normal. Shortly after, Spider informs Charlie he managed to find the list of soldiers who will be on the train, and among them are two generals. They investigate and discover that one of the generals likes to have fun in nightclubs. So they decide to use an attractive con woman to seduce the general. One night, the team follows the general to the club, and Rhea seduces him with a dance. When they go to a private room, she puts something in his glass. After he loses consciousness, the makeup artist starts taking pictures and measuring the general's face, to create a perfect mask with his face, so Charlie can infiltrate to find the password for opening the wagon of the safe full of gold. When the decisive day arrives, the team uses nails to deflate the wheels of the car that must catch the general. Next, the trickster acts as a driver, and uses a car just like the one used to take the general. On the way, the makeup artist shoots a tranquilizer at the general. Charlie gets into the car and puts on the mask, and they return to the general's office to wait for the real driver to take him to the train. A few minutes later, the driver arrives, and Charlie joins the other general and soldiers. He manages to speak Russian perfectly, so no one suspects anything. Thanks to a small video camera placed by Charlie, 
Spider and the con woman manage to write down the password. After all the soldiers board the train, Charlie walks away and informs the team that the train is about to leave. The group boards another train and attempts to reach the train of gold by means of thrusters. Once they get within a certain distance, the illusionist uses a remote control to emit gas from small tubes directly into the train, so the soldiers fall asleep. Soon, he turns on another control, which gives the soldiers the illusion that the train is still moving. Spider taps into a Russian satellite system, and disables the cameras. They now have only 10 minutes to open the safe, and transfer the gold from the train. Charlie gets to work, and jumps onto the other train to open the car with the password given by Spider. After he opens it, he pushes two soldiers off the train. Then, he climbs onto the carriage and tries to unlock the safe. Thanks to a wire camera, he manages to open the safe and find the gold. They begin to transfer the gold using a kind of ramp. Meanwhile, the Russians try to regain control over the satellite system. Spider shouts that they still have a few minutes. The illusion on the windows begins to malfunction, and the illusionist is forced to replay the same video. Unfortunately, a soldier realizes he's seen the same image twice, and when he goes outside to check, he is stunned, but is killed by the illusionist. Soon, the ramp they use to transfer the gold breaks, and the illusionist climbs over the crane to transfer manually. Finally, the robbery is successfully executed, and they manage to steal all the gold. Charlie calls Victor to inform him of the success, but Nina overhears the call, and realizes that Victor has broken his promise to her, not to return to the life of crime. As the team celebrates their success, the illusionist reveals his daughter was paralyzed during one of his magic shows, and hopes to help her recover soon. Suddenly, gunmen appear, and shoot the illusionist and Rhea. It turns out Spider has been a double agent, and reveals himself to be a traitor. The illusionist gets up and fights Spider. Charlie and the others fight with henchmen, and manage to disarm them. Later, Spider completely kills the illusionist, while the others get into a van. However, they are rear-ended by the criminals in a truck. The van falls into the water, and Spider shoots at it with a bazooka. Fortunately, Charlie and the makeup artist and the mechanic manage to get out of the car before the explosion. Also, Spider's assassins break into Victor's house. He kills a couple of henchmen, and when he tries to hug his crying daughter, he is shot in the back by a sniper. One year later, Charlie still tries to make amends with Nina, but she blames him for her father's death. He claims Victor did not do the robbery for the money, but because he wanted to build the largest orphanage in India. He promises her he will fulfill the dream. Now, Nina decides to join Charlie and team to find Spider and get the gold back. Over the course of the year, Charlie contacted several gold dealers to find out who had the stolen gold that Spider escaped with. In New Zealand, the gang locates a dealer who is in contact with Spider. The trickster pretends to be an Indian billionaire, with Charlie as his driver. They tell the trader they want to buy thousand gold bars, and Charlie takes the trader's phone, drops it, and inserts a certain device inside. Back at the hotel, Nina tracks down the trader's phone, and they listen in on his call with Spider. It turns out Spider is still in the city, and now they just need to find him. They go to the trader's warehouse, and while two members of the team distract the guards, Nina and Charlie go inside to check the safe rooms. They find an expensive car from which a woman gets out, and after writing down the license plate, they leave. A few days later, they identify the woman, whose name is Pamela, and start chasing her in a car. Unfortunately, they are stopped by the police for checking. Nina gets into a car with an unknown guy, and asks him for a ride. They follow the black BMW, and she arrives in front of Spider's very large property, and calls Charlie to inform him of this. Later, the group regroups, and Charlie says they need a scanner that can locate where Spider has hidden the gold. While they are at a bar, Charlie notices on camera his wife Rhea. It turns out that she is still alive, and living there. They follow her home, and Rhea explains she also wants revenge on Spider, she survived the attack, and Spider left her in Russia. She reveals Spider often brings women to his house. So Nina proposes to go in, since Spider does not know her. The next day, Charlie and the others go to get an armored truck for their plan. Nina sits in a bar, and Spider notices her on the security cameras. He invites her to his mansion, and once inside, the team discovers where the gold is, thanks to the scanner glued to Nina's shoe. Unfortunately, Spider finds the camera hidden in Nina's dress, and realizes she is working with Charlie, who breaks into Spider's mansion with the armored truck. Spider is bored, and tells Charlie that he wants to play, so he challenges him to steal his gold in 48 hours. Later that day, the team works on the robbery plan. When Rhea hears Charlie wants to tell the Russian mafia where the gold is, she leaves indignantly for home. 
It turns out that Rhea has been working with Spider from the beginning. After faking her death, she went to New Zealand with him. Thanks to her, Spider managed to get all the information about Charlie's plan, who apparently intends to steal the gold while it is on the road. The next day, Spider tries to move the gold with a truck. The gang uses three large trucks, and hacks the traffic system to get the truck full of gold to where they need it. They blow up the road, causing the truck to fall into a tunnel, but they do not find the gold inside. It becomes clear that Spider was expecting this move, and had hidden the gold in another truck. Spider orders his henchman to put the truck with the real gold on the road. Charlie was expecting this move as well, and had located an underground road that does not exist on the map. Thus, they use an explosive to smash a wall, and intercept this truck. They steal this gold, and put it in three Mini Coopers. Rhea calls Charlie to ask what is going on, and he reveals that they will arrive shortly at the harbor, where they will escape by boat. After a long drive away from Spider's henchmen, the group finally arrives at the harbor. Here, they discover Rhea has been on Spider's side from the beginning. Spider tries to force the gang to hand over the gold, but the Mini Cooper's trunks are empty. At this point, Spider betrays Rhea, and threatens to kill her. However, before Charlie can reveal the true location of the gold, Rhea shoots herself. She cannot bear the idea of staying alive after betraying Charlie. A fight breaks out between Spider and Charlie. Spider stabs him, and tries to escape, but the other two team members stop him, and beat him severely. Nina, who wants revenge for her father's death, shoots Spider three times. It is revealed that the real Mini Coopers containing the gold are elsewhere. They went through a garage, left the cars with gold, and then got into other identical Mini Coopers without gold. As the four leave the scene, Spider makes one last phone call to the Russian Mafia, and tells them that Charlie stole the gold. The gang takes the real Mini Coopers, and leaves for India, but the Mafia stops them to check the cars, which once again turn out to be empty. It is revealed that the Mini Coopers were themselves made from the gold. Eventually, the mechanic opens a car dealership, the makeup artist becomes a stage actor, Charlie and Nina open Victor's dream orphanage, and Charlie raises the illusionist's daughter as his own. The end. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. Turn on the notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out.